Hello, everybody. Um, it's uh, 12 o'clock in the evening right now. Anyway, um, I wanted to uh, make a video, just give you guys an update on what's going on. I know it's been like, what, I think a week uh, since the last time I um, posted something. Um, well, what's going on right now is uh, I'm uh, waiting for the letter, the official letter for the disqualification um um, email uh, letter that's gonna supposed to be coming from the LAPD after I get DQ'd for my color blindness. Well, color deficient. I don't want to say color blindness. I can see colors, just the shades, you know. But anyway, um, once that letter comes, then I can start the process for appeal um, for LAPD um, disqualification that I have. Now I'm still sitting around waiting for the Los Angeles Sheriff Department physical fitness test. Um, that's going to be January 20th, 6 o'clock in the morning. Mm. Uh, I've been running. I've been uh, working out. You know, my leg hurts. My knee hurts. But uh, like I said, failure is not an option. I'm going to keep on going until I can't go anymore. Um, people said I lost weight, you know, it's nice to hear that, but I don't feel like I lost weight, but, um, and, um, anyway, um, in the meantime, while I'm wait waiting for all of that, you know, law enforcement, uh, applications that I've been doing, I actually applied, <laughs> I didn't even realize that there's other departments out there. And when I, during my research in the internet, uh, they said that just apply to every department because, um, Every department have different uh, criteria and, um, um, you know, um, sometimes people get into other departments. One department might not let you in and another department might. So I applied to, uh, where did I apply? Burbank, I think Pasadena. I also applied to uh, Santa Monica PD and also uh, I'm still waiting for Inglewood. I don't know why Inglewood hasn't called me back or sent me an email. A lot of departments right now are freezing their hiring, so that's probably it, you know. But um, oh, I'm very tired now, I guess. But I wanted to do this video before I go to bed. <clears throat> but in the meantime, while I'm waiting for all the law enforcement stuff, I wanted to um, expand my ch choices, and I'm not going to leave anything out. So, um, I applied to working back in the hospital. I used to be a, um, surgical technician and, uh, for you people that don't know what that is, surgical technician is basically a, uh, somebody who would assist the surgeon during surgeries. Uh, it's going to be the surgeon across from him. I mean, surgeon, the patient right across is me and then the nurse doesn't have the, you know, the surgery outfit, the scrub outfit. She's the one who's going to be getting us whatever we need, chatting down everything that's happening. And because we have sterile gloves, sterile, you know, gown and mask and all that. And so um, we can't touch stuff that's not sterile. So whatever we need, she gives it to us. You know, that's, that's what circle living nurses. Very, very important job. <clears throat> and, um, my job is to take care of the instruments, retract whatever the surgeon needs from me, um, the assistant, and then the surgeon does the job. Sometimes there's two surgeons doing operation, depends how difficult the operation is. And then I'll be the third person assisting both surgeons uh, during the surgeries. Very important job, exciting job. Um, I used to do that uh, before I, I opened my martial arts school. But the problem is, um, you know, it's been 20 years since the last time I worked at the hospital. I have to say that I'm, I was very good at it. And um, to me, it's probably like riding a bike. Maybe I need a few scrubbing a few times. Somebody would assist me and help me second scrub with me during surgeries. And, you know, things will come back to me, you know, pretty easy. I, I'm pretty sure, you know, things will come back to me fast. And, um sit on my glasses these are my reading glasses i went to um uh, lens crafter and ordered me a bi well it's not a bifocal what do they call it transitional no transitionals to be 
become dark. Progressive. There's a progressive glasses. And uh, so you can, the half part is for seeing far and then the bottom part is seeing close. So I'm going to get one of those. <clears throat> so I'm going to have two glasses. Anyway, the reason I got glasses is I want to be prepared for my second interview with the uh, um, sheriff department. Because LAPD told me I need glasses. So now I'm going to show up for sheriff ready to go. I got my glasses. I don't want to give them any reason to DQ me except for the color deficiency anyway. But anyway, yes, so I applied to the hospital also. So, you know, if the hospital hires me first, it's gonna be a toss up. I'm hoping that the sheriff department will give me, uh, I'll get as far as sheriff, uh, you know, all the way to the end of sheriff department until they disqualify me. And then the hospital, you know, offers me a job, um, but, uh, I'm kind of torn that my chances of getting the hospital is pretty good if they are hiring. According to the website, they're hiring, but, you know, because of the COVID right now, it's very, very, um, um, right now it's very bad, very bad. Um, so it's, um, uh, they're, they're, um, canceling some of their, um, non-essential surgeries. So therefore they're not going to need that many staff during um, working hours. And so the, whatever staff they have, they um, put them in other departments to help out to whatever they need, you know, because there's no surgeries. So um, kind of right now, they're not hiring people right away, um, but they do need something when it does get busy. They need enough people in there. So um they're not going to, you know, rush trying to um, talk to me, interview, all that stuff. So um, while they're doing that, <clears throat> and I have to say that my chances are pretty good because I still know after 20 years, I still know a lot of people that still that I used to work with that still works at the same hospital that I used to work at. So it would be pretty easy for me to give referrals to all of them. I mean, all of them can just tell the director of the operating room, you know, oh yeah, Ray's a good guy, you know, he knows what he's doing, he's very good, blah, blah, blah. Maybe it's been a while, but we'll train him and he'll be good. <clears throat> and I know they all like me and they know that I'm very capable of, of uh, becoming a good surgical technician again. So, um, yeah, so getting hired there shouldn't be that hard, but, uh, you know, again, that's what I said with LAPD and look what happened. So I don't want to count my chickens before the egg hatch as they say <clears throat> but um yeah so i'm getting all my options open and touching everything that i can touch if i can get a job i even applied for um dispatch <laughs> you know at least i'm in the law enforcement somehow um helping the community even applied for jailer or um uh um what do you call that deputy assistant, you know, all that stuff. I mean, if I can't get law enforcement, you know, be be a sheriff or be a police officer, then, you know, I'll take any job that's revolving around that. <clears throat> but again, working for the government is a good pay anyway, you know, good benefits, you know, and they pay well. I mean, it's a good job, you know. Um, if I get oper offered in a hospital, it's a good job too. So... Right now, I'm actually um, pretty sad um, every time I go to my martial arts studio and see all those kids that I've been teaching for all this time. I've I have students there that's been with me for like 10 years, you know. They grew up with me. I'm like their second dad, um, seeing them every day with their smiling face. And, oh man, it really, it, it really breaks my heart that one day I'm going to be telling them that, um, I'll be, I'll be away, you know, that I'm not going to teach them anymore. Um, I do found a friend that I've known for over 30 years, ever since I trained martial arts. Um, I'm, he's interested in taking over my studio and he's a very good guy, very good instructor. And, uh, I think he'll, f you know, he'll be a good instructor to take over my studio, but, uh, I think I'm done, you know? Even though I look around, don't get me wrong, I'll, you know, I, I'm still going to train, 
martial arts. I'm just not going to be an instructor and in owning a studio. But uh, I continue training, you know, it's what I do. <clears throat> and uh, I have a passion for martial arts. But because of this COVID, life gives you, uh, you know, another path. And that's what life's all about, you know. It's just full of challenges and full of different roads that would take you different ways and, you know, and um, just keep on going, you know. For all you people out there that are struggling right now during the pandemic, hang on there, you know. Just try everything. Don't give up, you know. The, the only time that uh, you give up is, you know, at the end. <laughs> You know, but why, while you're healthy, while you, if you have family and you have somebody with you that supports you um, or somebody who needs your support, um, give them that. And at the same time, you know, work hard for them. If you have kids, if you have wives, if you have family, um, you know, keep on going. Um, that's what I'm doing. And um, hopefully it goes something good, it goes somewhere that uh, it's going to give us a little bit stability, you know, but that's all we could do is hope, um, never lose hope, just keep on going and trying anything and everything, you know, don't be picky, um, happiness is what you do with a certain situation, you know, you could be happy in a small house, you could be happy in an apartment, you could be happy in a mansion, but that goes the other way too, you could be miserable on the mansion, Miserable in an apartment, miserable in a condo, miserable in the street. Anywhere you go, you could be ha either happy or miserable. But it's up to you on how you look at it, you know. Um, if you guys never been in the Philippines, you know, if you go in the Philippines, there's so many people out there that don't have much, but they are very happy and content with their lives. And, um, you know, and I've met so many rich people who lives in a big mansion and miserable and unhappy at the same time. So, um, again, like I said, happiness is what you do with a certain situation, you know? So, uh, that's what I'm doing. I'm trying to find a way to be happy and what, with what I've got. And plus, you know, still have a place to live. I have a house and my wife's doing well, although she's starting to get depressed because you know being at home all the time all of us right now a lot of people being depressed at home all the time but you know she's trying to find the light at the end of the tunnel my daughter is doing great you know she's at home getting good grades on top of this pandemic she never leaves the house um she's applying for colleges you know <clears throat> so it's life's going on and everything was good. So what is to be unhappy about? You know, it's a different degree, I guess. But uh, yeah, um, for me, I got nobody to talk to. I'm here at home. I, I go teach a student. I talk to my students. You know, I don't have a best friend or anything like that. I don't have a buddy. I don't have... I don't have uh, guys with me, you know, that I hang out with. I don't, I don't, not not that I'm looking for it, not that I don't need it. It's just at this time of my life, I'm just too busy, you know. And um, you know, I don't I don't have a, a lot of that. You know, most most people do like after work and they go have a beer with buddies and go to a bar and stuff like that. Not that you can go to a bar right now, but everything is closed in L.A. Um, but I do have a few friends that I give a call. There's one friend particularly. Um, his name is Ucello, um Luis. Um, he lives in Arizona and a um, good friend of mine. I call him from time to time, have a conversation. He has a family over there. But um, yeah, just phone calls. But it's just me keeping myself busy. Anyway... So that's uh, what's going on right now. And um, for again, for you people out there, you know, like I said, I don't know everything. And, you know, all I can tell you is my life experience. And so, um, 
you know that's what i'm doing right now applying for a hospital waiting for the response from the uh, lapd and um sheriff department and other departments that i applied for I'll t i'm taking everything i even um i even researched them too so burbank has a weird um physical fitness test some obstacle course that you have to do but either way it's going to be interesting and uh and that's me i like to do things that interesting and adventurous and um you know always some conversational piece all right so you guys be cool if you have any questions ask you know send me a message um or uh, just press like or subscribe whatever if you don't like me well you know there's other people out there but uh if you do hit subscribes down below and give me a comment all right later bye